Good day, class. How was your day? Good day, ma'am. Ma we're okay, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Good, ma you're doing good. Good to hear that. I hope you're all having a great day. Miss Secretary, kindly check the attendance. So, before we start, do you have any concerns? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, if you have no concerns, let us start our discussion for today. So, every day in our living, movement is natural. But how are we going to put it into words using the right terms? Today's discussion is all about prepositions of movement. But first, let us see this video. Into the box, out of the box, around the box. Into the box, out of the box, around the box. Away from the box. Okay, so I have here the emotions chart. This is to check up on you from time to time. So, so far, how, um, what number on the emotions chart did you feel when you heard the song? Five. Two more. Five. Four. Okay. Good to hear that. So, after hearing the song, did you get a hint? or something that what we're going to tackle yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma okay now let us move forward to our discussion i have here two pictures i want you to know their similarities of movements and later on i will provide the sentences so can you check if there are similarities in the first and second pictures, who can tell me the similarities? Ma'am. Yes, Bunso. So the similarities of the first and second pitch, picture is they are going somewhere or headed to somewhere. Po. Okay, great. So here are the sentences of each picture. Can somebody read them? Ma'am. Ma yes, Anthony. Um, in the first picture, my family is going to the beach. And the second picture is she is walking to her place. Okay. So after having the sentences of each picture, can you come up with another example sentences given this sentences you can also create an another example 
Me, ma'am. 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 Okay. Yes, Layla. Um, Bianca is walking to the library. Okay, good. Now let us move to the next two pictures. What do you think are the similarities of the two pictures? Ma'am. Yes, Anthony. The two pictures are facing or moving forward to something. Okay, so these are the sentences of each picture. Four men are running towards the finish line. Another picture is, she is walking towards the door. So upon reading the sentences, and it could also give you a hint already, can you give me an example? Ma'am. Yes, Maridel. Um, Lena is walking towards the market. Okay, very good. Next, pictures. What are their similarities? What do you think? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, Layla. I think the two pictures um, illustrates facing or moving forward to something. Or, or rather, it, they are approaching or ending up near the, their destination. Okay, very good. Now, can you give me an example based on what you've observed? By the way, this is, these are the sentences. Ma'am, Ma can I answer? Um, yes, Anthony. Um, based on the two pictures, I will come up with she walked up to the lighthouse from the sea. Okay, very good. Now let us see the next two pictures. What do you think these pictures, what are their similarities? Yeah. Ma'am? Yes, um, is that? Okay, Camille, you may answer. Um, I think the similarities of the two pictures is they are both moving away. The objects on the two pictures are both moving away. Okay, very good. These are the example sentences I have made. The boy is running away from the dog. The other one, the bird is flying away from the the cage so considering the sentences i have made can you also make one ma'am ma'am yes bianca um, the mouse ran away from the cat and the skip. okay very good now let us move to another two pictures what do you think are there similarities? Maybe this is hard, but I think you could also find out. Ma'am. Yes, Anthony. I think the similarities of those two pictures are uh, they are somehow related to surfaces. Very good. It is related to surfaces, but it includes movement. So the first example is they went up onto the roof. Another example is Ben's ice cream fell onto the ground. Now let us move to the next pictures. What do you think are the similarities of the two pictures? Ma'am. Ma yes, Mary Del. Um, the similar similarities are they are they looks like um they are moving off to something. Okay, very good. Now upon seeing these pictures and reading the sentences, I'll provide. Okay. These are the sentences. The boy fell off from his bike. Another is the cat jumped off the table. So can you make a sentence? Ma'am. Yes, Layla. 
I took the picture of the wall. Okay, very good. Now let us move to our next pictures. What do you think are there similarities? Um, it is. Yes, Anthony. I think the similar the similarities of those pictures of those two pictures are getting in or into something. Getting in or into something, ma'am. Okay, very good. You can see here in the picture that the boy gets into his friend's car and the other one is the man or he put the food into the fridge. Based on the sentences I have provided um, or what you have noticed, can you provide an example also? Um. Yes, Bianca. The rabbit went into the box. Okay, very good. Now let us move to the next pictures. What do you think are there similarities? It is a tunnel and then this is maybe woods. Mom. Um, Mom. Trees. Okay, Layla. Um, I think the two pictures illustrates moving into enclosed spaces. Okay, very good. So, who can give me an example similar to what you've observed? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, Mary does. Um, the rabbit went through the tube. Okay, very good. Now, these are the example sentences. He drove his new car through the tunnel. The man walked through the woods. Let us... Move to our next pictures. Okay, we have here um, a number one picture is a fish, and next is children's children. So, what do you think are their similarities? Um, yes, is that? Um, yes, Camille. Um, I think their similarities as they're showing moving out to something or a place. Okay, very good. Now, these are my example sentences. The fish jumped out of the bowl. Next is, the children are walking out of the school. Now, can you come up with a sentence based on what you have noticed? Ma'am. Ma yes. Mary Dell. The rabbit jumped out of the box. Okay, very good. Now let us move to our next pictures. What do you think are there similarities? Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma yes, Anthony. Um, I think there's their similarities are they are moving. The subject in the pictures are moving in a circular direction. Okay, very good. So these are the example sentences. The boy ran around the bush. Next is the dog keeps running around following his tail. Now, can you also make a sentence upon noticing the italicized word? Which is around? Ma'am. Yes, Leila. Um, we walked around the park. Okay, very good. Now let us move to our next pictures. Oh, it is not visible, but let us. There. How about their similarities? Ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Yes, I me. Um, what are showed illustration of crossing above. Um, they showed okay. an illustration of 
crossing above something. Okay, very good. Now, based on your understanding of the pictures, can you also make one? Mom. Mom. Yes. Very good. Mm, the rabbit jumped out over the wall. Okay, very good. It is similar to our example sentences here in picture. So here, the horse jumped over the fence. Next, the boy pilot on the airplane is flying over the hill. Now let us move to our last two pictures. What can you notice? What are their similarities? Ma'am? Yes, Bianca? They are moving together with a long pass. Okay, very good. So here are the sentences. The scouts are walking along the river. Another, the kids are skating along the road. So, upon noticing the sentences I have made, can you also come up with one? Ma'am. Um, yes, Anthony. Ma'am. Uh, Jafet walk along the road. Okay, good examples and good observations, guys. I think all the sentences and pictures I have provided helped you enough to understand our today's discussion. So, here again is my emotions chart. So far, how did you feel on our discussion? Five, ma'am. Number three. Five, ma'am. Five. Okay, good to hear that. Now I have here an example scenario that includes all the terms we've used earlier or the words that you've encountered. Can somebody read? Ma'am. 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 Yes, Leila. Example scenario. He walked around the table and moved toward the window. They saw someone running away from the school, past the car and towards the road. They went up onto the roof. He jumped off the platform and ran over the rails just before the train arrived. Okay, can you point out the words we've encountered earlier that you see in this scenario? Ma'am. 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 Yes. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the words that we have encountered earlier that are present here are around, toward, away from, pass, toward, onto, off, and over. Okay, very good. So before we move forward to the presentation of its usage, can you also give me an example scenario. Anyone? Ma'am. Um. Oh, yes, Leila. Whenever I'm in or I'm on a vacation, I woke up early and eat. After I eat, I check my weight and step onto the weighing scale, then walks around the house to look for my pet. I will crawl into his house and search through the covered playground slides. Whenever my pet saw me, he always jumps over the rock and run fast. Then we go back into our house and look for his leash. Then we will walk along the street. Can you point out the words that um, you've encountered earlier also? Earlier also? Um, the words are around and over and then along. Okay, very good. You may not also included the word into. Okay, very good. Now that you're familiar with it, with this topic, I will now present the prepositions of movement, specifically its usage and explanation. So prepositions of movement show movement from one place to another place. These prepositions always describe movement and we usually use them with verbs of motion. So first on the list is 
to the box. So to the box, the preposition to is used when you're stating a destination or the movement or describing the result of the movement. It is like you already know where he would end up. For example, the word to the box, therefore his destination is the box. Next is towards the box. You can see that the movement of the ball is towards the box. Therefore, preposition towards is used when it is in the direction of someone or something. It is facing or getting closer to something. So prepositions to and towards differ. Prepositions to indicates destination, while towards indicates direction. So always remember that the word to indicates destination and then the words towards is indicates direction. Next is up to from. So here, the preposition up to from is used to indicate extension as far as a specified place. So for example, the man is walking up to the lighthouse from the sea. So there's an indication of how far they go then ended up or reached the lighthouse. Next is away from the box or away from. The, pre the preposition away from is a movement wherein someone or something moves farther away from something. Next is onto the box. The preposition onto refers to the movement to the surface of something. For example, the ball is thrown onto the box. So it means the ball moves to the surface of the box. Next is off the box. It is opposite of the onto and the preposition of is the same as onto that refers to surfaces. But in preposition of, it is the movement of away from and often down from something. So next is into. The preposition into is a movement entering an enclosed space. It could be it could be also used when someone or something collides with something. So in into the box is enclosed, therefore we used preposition into. Next is through the pipe. So preposition of movement through is a movement where something or someone enters an enclosed space and then exits something. For example, the ball went through the tube. Next is out of. The preposition of movement out of is a movement when you enter inside space and then moves outside the space. So for example, the ball jumps out of the box. Next is round or around the box. So the preposition round and around is the same in function if it's in a form of movement. Round and around is the movement on circular motion or curved root. Next is over. We see here that it is over the wall. So the preposition over is a movement above and across the top or top surface of something. For example, there, the ball went over the wall. So this means the ball crosses the top surface of the wall. Lastly, is the word along. Preposition of movement along is the movement of something in a line that follows the side of something long. For example, the ball rolls along the road. This means the ball moves in a line parallel to the road. So, can you follow? Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so here's my emotions chart again. How did you feel so far? Five, ma'am. Five. Five. Uh, now, do you have any clarifications or additional thoughts regarding our topic? None, ma'am. None so far, ma'am. Okay, now that we got to know the usage of each preposition of movement, I want to assess what you've learned. So here's an activity. Can you read the instruction, please, Mr. Anthony? Complete, complete each sentence using the appropriate preposition in the box. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Here are activity. So the first one, he jumped from one side of the rock to the other side of the rock. Therefore, he jumped blank the rock. What do you think is the answer? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, Maridel. Over, ma'am. Over the box. The rock. He jumped over the rock. Okay, let us see. It is he jumped over the rock. Very good. Now, so next number. The car was going in the direction of the bridge. Therefore, the car was going blank the bridge. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma Yes, Anthony. I think the answer is towards the car was going in the direction of the bridge. The car was going towards the bridge. Okay, let us see. Very good. It is the car was going towards the bridge. Next number. They run in the trees from one end to the other end. Therefore, they run blank the trees. Ma what is the answer? Yes, Bianca. The answer is true. They ran in the in the trees from one end to uh, to the other end. They ran through the trees. Okay, let us see. Very good. It is they run through the trees. Next. When she came from the interior of the office. To the exterior of the office, she looked upset. So therefore, when she came blank, the office, she looked upset. What do you think is the answer? Ma'am. 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 I would like to hear from Aini. Yes, ma'am. My answer is out of. When she came from the interior of the office to the exterior of the office, she looked upset. Therefore, when she came out of the of out of the office, she looked upset. Okay, let us see your answer. It's right. Very good. It is out of when she came out of the office, she looked upset. For the last number, he was on the stage and then he went away from the stage. Therefore, he went blank the stage. What do you think is the answer? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, Layla. Mom, I think the answer is off. He went off the stage. Okay, very good. It is right. So, I think you all have learned the prepositions of movement. Well done. I hope you've learned much for today. Um. This is the end of our class. Thank you for attending and keep safe. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Ma Thank you, ma'am. Ma